We're seconds away from getting it started at Lambeau Field. New England and Green Bay, the two hottest teams from each conference. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims and a thought before kickoff here, partner. Well, I think you said it already. The two hottest teams are playing well, and two star quarterbacks who are at the top of their game is going to be exciting to watch. This game is being broadcast in Spanish. We're available using the SAP button on your television. The Packers won the toss and have decided to receive so we'll see Aaron Rodgers in company first Harris and Hyde are back deep for Green Bay to receive the kick from Gostowski and Aaron Rodgers about to start a game for the first time in his career against the Patriots and they're seeing first the run back out to the 28 with Harris Wayne Harris returns at 18 yards here's Aaron Rodgers He's been hot since week four, and at home, now he's been hot for years. Hasn't even thrown a pick at home now in two years. This line has been intact since week three. They got a rookie center who's done a fine job, Corey Lindsley. And Jordy Nelson, he's another one that really kicks up his game another notch here at home. They've got a third receiver in on the first snap, Devontae Adams. And here we go, Aaron Rodgers going against New England for the first time in his career. Saw some backup play eight years ago but it's Lacey the target on the first play of the game and a gain of 12. Matt Patricia's defense of the Patriots here you go Rob Ninkovich he knows how to stir things up and we're gonna see him long snapping today as Danny Aiken their long snapper is out and Revis we're gonna be watching these matchups Revis and Browner and how they're gonna try to handle over, 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 over. Nelson and Cobb hey, boy, they've got boy, Browner boy, on day. Nelson at the bottom all of day. the screen 319 Revis on Cobb in the slot on first and ten. A carry now coming from Lacey. And he's got all kinds of room and it drives the pile for an extra three or four yards to the New England side of the field. Running behind that rookie center we talked about, Lindsley for 12. Yeah, good job by Lindsley. T.J. Lane gets a good block, but the center gets out there and leads it. That is what gives the running back so much run to Eddie Lacey to run the football. But you're right, Brandon Browner against Jordy Nelson. Darrell Revis against Randall Cobb. First two plays went for 12 yards each, and Lacey's got another big run. Inside the 30 and down to the 22. Finally tripped up by McCourty as he uses that left, left side of Bacteri and sitting for 25. Once again, they get him flowing to the right side of the defense, and Lindsley gets the block. And Eddie Lacy, how long does he go before anybody touches him to the safety, Devin McCourty? Three on, on, big plays to open the game. All for over 10 yards. And it's Lacy again. This time only a couple. Nobody talks so much about the passing game. Got to be alert. The Green Bay Packers run the football well. We want to welcome most of the nation to Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The Packers taking the opening kickoff and have run four plays to this point, already advancing to the New England 21. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims and Tracy Wolfson. Here's Aaron Rodgers, second throw of the game. And he was looking in the direction of Devontae Adams. Now the Green Bay Packers love to throw a lot of short passes out by the sideline, so that was a good time to try a little double move a quick move by Adams to go up the sideline but the coverage is there nobody open Eddie Lacy with a couple of big carries to get the Packers down to this point three carries for Lacy and all for 39 yards but now it's a third and eight as Brady waits his turn now to take the field for the first time Look right, look left, looking for options all kinds of time. Fires it down the field, and it's tipped around and incomplete, but a flag is out. Adams had a play on it, then off the rebound. Cobb looked like he could possibly also make a, an attempt. Logan Ryan helped break it apart, but the flag has got to be sorted out by Ed Hockley. Before the pass was thrown, holding defense number 39. Five-yard penalty and automatic first down. It's 
Brandon Browner on the hold. And the biggest key for this New England defense, yeah, they got to stop the run. We've seen that early. But can you keep Aaron Rodgers in the pocket? They did that time. But all that extra time, the receivers are very good at adapting the routes. New England lucky that wasn't a touchdown throw. Jim Nance and Phil Simpson, Tracy Wolfson, like to welcome now those of you who saw the Chargers win at Baltimore with that winning touchdown pass in the final minute from Rivers to Royal. And the Chargers win that game, welcoming that audience now here to Green Bay where the Packers have taken the opening drive and just been the beneficiaries of a holding call against the New England defense to keep this drive going. But this is some matchup here. Brady and Rodgers for the first time starting against one another. Then you have the duo of Revis and Browner. And what will they do with Nelson and Cobb? And then, of course, you've got a pair of coaches, each of whom have won Super Bowls. But Jim, I think when you look at this opening drive, it, it, it opens your eyes up. The pass coverage very focused on the wide receivers. Two guys on Jordy Nelson. Does that leave enough defenders to stop the run? One of the reasons why they got down the field so quick, quickly with Eddie Lacy. Two receivers in the backfield. And it's Cobb getting the handle. And he's down to the 14. They've gotten to this point with only one completion. Rodgers throw on the first play of the game for 12 yards. But Eddie Lacy rushing it three times for 39. Well, that was interesting, though, wasn't it? A little zone read look, and you had jo uh, Jared Boykin and Randall Cobb in the backfield. I would think there's a few more plays coming off that look. Hand it off. Rodgers could run it. He could give it to or flip it to a receiver or even a pass by a receiver out of their formation. On second and eight, to give it to Lacey. He tried to get out of an ankle tackle, but his debt at the line of scrimmage by Alan Branch. Yeah, that time Alan Branch and Vince Wilfork kind of getting into the swing of the game. Just bottled everything up and nowhere to run that football. Alan Branch signed in the middle of the season. There's Vince Wilfork. Yeah, Vince Wilfork, yeah, I tell you, as the year has gone along, he has played better and better as you look at him. I think he's a cold-weather-looking kind of guy, and that's when he plays his best. Third and eight for the Packers from the New England 14. Rodgers to the end zone and incomplete. It was intended for Adams. Pretty interesting. A couple times they've thrown it down the field. Another little move by Devontae Adams on the outside. And what do you do to a great quarterback? You'd like to make him hurry up his throws and that was good Chris Jones gets the penetration oh it's a beautiful move but Aaron Rodgers didn't have enough time to just float that football in there perfectly Chris Jones stopped the touchdown Logan Ryan was the defender on Adams and here's the field goal try by Crosby right down the middle 32 yards Aaron Rodgers getting a look at the coverages he faced on that first series. Again, as you mentioned, never targeted Cobb nor Nelson. Completed one pass, the first pass of the game is a little short pass to Cobb out of the backfield. Here's Amendola on the return for New England. He had a good one last week of 81 yards in the game against Detroit. And he's out to about the 26. Here comes Tom Brady. Last year, eight years ago, when he threw four touchdowns and a 35-0 New England win. The temperature has been dropping here since 9 o'clock this morning when it was high of 34. It should be close to 10 by the end of the game. Brandon Bolden is in the backfield along with Shane Vereen as Brady comes out throwing to LaFell. Brandon LaFell has a 13-yard pickup for New England on its first play of the game. Tom Brady these last seven weeks in this win streak. Absolutely sensational again. 22 touchdowns, only four interceptions. They've beaten division leaders the last three weeks. All runaway wins, and like Green Bay, they start a rookie center in store. Gronkowski, healthy and 
Back to his old ways. And this is Blunt getting the carry. And Lagero Blunt still fighting for it. Out near the 44. Will give him five. Dom Capers defense has had a sack in 32 consecutive games. That's the longest stretch in the league. They've also had a takeaway in 20 straight games. That also is the longest active streak in the league. Hyde should be seeing a lot of Gronkowski today. Shane Vereen now lined up behind Brady on second and four. And it goes to Vereen. It was not sideways on the hit. And that's Barrington. Well, they're going to test this run defense of the Green Bay Packers. There's no doubt about it. They're the 30th in the league against the run. But since they put Clay Matthews back as a middle linebacker in a lot of running situations, the defense has gotten much better versus the run here in the last three weeks. When Clay Matthews is middle linebacker, very good. And it's Blunt on third and two with a flag out. He is stopped by Barrington again, who plugged the gap. Blunt was trying to run behind his fullback, James Devlin. And the Packers' defense was wise to it, but we'll check Ed Hockley's call. Brady's already walked to the far sideline. Yeah, he heard the... Uh, he heard what they were saying. He immediately turned and ran to the sideline. Illegal shift by the offense. All 11 players were not set for a second. The penalty is declined. Brings up fourth down. Yeah, what they did, which we see New England do all the time, Jim, they tried to go with the hurry up, run that off tackle play. We see him running the outside. Green Bay was ready for it. And the penalty, they were not set long enough before the football was snapped. And let's watch this snap by Rob Ninkovich again, called into emergency duty. Danny Aiken, who's out because of a concussion suffered last week. And this bounces around inside the 15, and then it's handled by the Packer returner, Hyde, and it goes out of bounds. It's okay. New England touched the ball, so he had a free play, and he tried to take advantage of it. Micah Hyde, who had a punt return on this field against Philadelphia just a couple of weeks ago. Green Bay will take over at about the 16. Find the perfect gift for the sports fan on your gift list. Beat the crowds and save 10% when you shop CBS Sports. Take advantage of this offer now. CBSSports.com slash holiday. Well, as you look out there, I don't see any skid marks or divots so far. New England very conscious of the field. The teams come up here and slip and fall everywhere. Looks like the field's in great condition. At the tight end, Flores directly in front of Rodgers, who play action fix, goes it down the field, and Paul cannot quite reel it in. He had separation. Yeah, they were all over the blitz that time by New England. They had Corliss, the tight end in the backfield, and he did an excellent job of giving Aaron Rodgers extra time to throw the football. And just a little too strong with a couple passes now. Drop them in there, could have had some big gains. But when you blitz, you get extra time to throw it. Somebody can usually find a way to get open. Hey, Rex! 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 Second and ten. The pressure, and the Patriots get to Rodgers. It's Akeem Ayers with a flag out. This Akeem Ayers yep. has been some pickup traded by a Tennessee to New England in the middle of the season. Illegal use of the hands of the defense. Number 39. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Boy, Brandon Browner, his forte and why he is a good corner is being physical on the outside. This is the second time he's been called. But Akeem Ayers, you said it, 
picked up from Tennessee. Speed really giving them an outside pass rush that they need since Chandler Jones is hurt. Big speed sack off the board, and it's Lacey for a yard. That's it. Eddie Lacey coming off a 100-yard performance last week on the ground at Minnesota, and he's off to a good start here. Well, he's off to a good start. And I'll tell you, the other guy, Corey Lindsley, we always talk about quarterbacks and running backs, but the center for Green Bay, two big blocks, allowed Eddie Lacy to pick up those yards and it led him to a field goal. Well, you're talking about Lindsley, drafted in the fifth round out of Ohio State, their center. It's not something they've always done here is go out and draft a true center. They've drafted a lot of tackles and converted them. Good ball handling here by Rodgers. Wanted the long option, and now he's going to throw on the run, and it is caught by Adams. Gain of 33. Aaron Rodgers is looking right. You watch the receivers go down the field all over. Is anybody open? Adams to the top of your screen, but the extra time, he keeps it alive. That's all we hear from defensive backs, even last night, talking to Brandon Browner. Be ready for the quarterback to move and adjust to the wide receivers hard to do especially with the guy throwing it like Aaron Rodgers now from the Patriots 43 on first down Rodgers pass pulled down and a catch gain of 12 and it's Adams again what a catch is right Aaron Rodgers throws it high it's a slant route or an in cut they love these and that's a clean hit by Dante Hightower shoulder to the chest Adams we saw him in preseason Really not sure of how to adapt to the NFL game at wide receiver, but boy, is he making steady progress. And you can tell it, his presence on the field, and we've seen it here early with a couple of good catches. So he was dazed on the hit. He goes out. Boykin comes in. First and ten. Toss. Lacey. It's good for him, but double that. Gain of two. Hit by Ryan and Chung. Talking about Aaron Rodgers, I was mentioning it's been two years since he last threw a pick at home. Look at his career touchdown to interception ratio. Best of all time, and Brady is second. Yep, how about that? You know, they both learn to play. They go to the edge where they can use their skills, but they never take unnecessary chances. And Aaron Rodgers, accurate thrower, and if he doesn't like what he sees, he just moves around. Second and eight. Looking to throw again. Dangerous on the run, flags down. Probably going to be a call against Bulaga, the right tackle of the Patriots. You know, you rush three guys against Aaron Rodgers, I think you're asking for trouble. Easy for me to say up here, but he knows it's a three-man rush. He knows he has extra time, Jim, and you noticed he just watched the rushers there. Holding team. offense, number 75. 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. And I'm sure the hold comes because Aaron Rodgers broke outside the pocket, and of course the offensive linemen do not know. 75. When he breaks out, oh, what's happening? That's when he grabs him. Good, good acting job that time. I thought by Chris Jones, and you think he just felt the hold and went right to the ground. Of course, Chris Jones already one time knocked Rodgers to the ground. But, you know, you, does that make sense? You rush three rushers against these veteran, accomplished, talented quarterbacks. They know it right away, and they're going to use the extra time to make you pay for it. Starks is the running back on second and 18. Now he's going to run with it. Slides about a yard short of the first. There it was. He looked down the field, didn't like the crosser. He probably could have completed it. Watch the crosser come across the field. Could have stuck it in there. Nope. Why take a chance when you can do this? And when you play, when you play this man coverage, boy, look at Revis all over Randall Cobb. But when you play this type of defense, it's going to allow the quarterback to run. You saw Collins knock down Nelson after Browner had handed him off on the coverage. It's third and one. That was a 17-yard scramble by Rodgers. Does England have too many people? Twelve men in the field. Defense. Five-yard penalty results in the first the snap down. was imminent, and that's why they called the penalty before the play, or before the ball is snapped.
trying to count them as I look down there, Tim. Nobody has run off the field. Still got the same group of New England defenders out there. Belichick is very unhappy with that call. This is the third penalty on the Patriots defense. It's third down. It looks like Belichick may have won his appeal. Here we go. Count them out. There's 11 right before the football was snapped. So that's a good reversal by Ed Hockley and his crew. So it brings back third and one. Well, let's be honest. Some of these guys are so big, they look like two people when they <laughs> yeah. bend over and put their hand on the ground. Don't push! Don't push! It's a possible four-down situation here, third and short. Ready, ready, Lacey on the second effort. He was hit, bounced off of it, picked up four. You know, when you look at Eddie Lacey, he's everything you want in an NFL running back. You don't have to block him perfectly. Nice job by T.J. Lane getting the block because his power, his vision. I've watched him many games this year. And Jim, I'll tell you, he never goes to the wrong place to run the football. Wherever you block him, he'll he'll go behind those blocks and pick up yards. Physical and shifty for a big man can really move those feet. Adams back in, top of the screen. Run and play. Lacey. Two more. Into the arms of Hightower. Tonight, after 60 minutes, Taya Leone stars in the new hit drama, Madam Secretary on America's number one network, CBS. Well, they're running the football well. The one thing I haven't seen so far is these wide receivers. Cobb, he has not shaken Darrell Revis and Jordy Nelson. Those two guys, yet not into this game. Second and nine. Out of bounds. Logan Ryan really doing a good job on the outside. One foot, second's going to come down out of bounds. It's a beautiful throw by Aaron Rodgers, but again, they double teamed Jordy Nelson, Darrell Rivas on Randall Cobb, and they're, they're forcing the Packers. Hey, you're going to beat us throwing the football to Adams or to the tight end. Andrew Corliss. And he's targeted Adams a bunch of times. Nelson not once to this point. Cobb once. Third and nine. This is the 18th play of the game run by the Packers versus only four by New England. Again, all kinds of time. Rodgers over the top of Cobb. And incomplete. Covered by Revis. Protection is great. He's getting extra time and they just cannot shake away. Darrell Revis. But look. This, you know, you always say these things on telecast. He's the best corner in the National Football League. When you watch all of his plays, it's hard to find when the wide receiver just beats him cleanly and the quarterback makes the play. It'll be a 35-yard Crosby field goal attempt. Maske in the hole. And again, the kick is good. Two trips to the red zone for the Packers. And two field goals. 6-0 Green Bay. Aerial coverage of today's game is provided by MetLife as you look down at historic Lambeau Field. Curly Lambeau once had 14 consecutive winning seasons. Belichick has 14 oh. now. Now, look at Aaron Rodgers who's been hand. handing it off with his right hand. Noticed it the last drive, and boy, I can see why. That's just not a little scuff. That's a lot of blood for... And there is a mistake by Crosby, kicking it out of bounds. The ball was illegally kicked out of bounds. It will be placed at the 40-yard line, first down. So the Patriots have an excellent starting position at the 40. We have found what happened 
It's Aaron Rodgers' left hand. It was stepped on by Jamie Collins on that 17-yard scramble. Yep, you see the blood on his hand? Looks, you can't tell if it's swollen. I'm not going to say that. But it did make him hand the football off only with his right hand, which is dangerous. Brady, across the middle, ball in the air, and incomplete. Trying to get it in there to LaFell. A reminder, Thursday night football. Tony Romo with the Cowboys. This will be a big game for them to try to bounce back after the loss on Thanksgiving Day to the Eagles. Taking on Matt Forte and the Bears from Soldier Field. We'll see you Thursday night. Dallas, Chicago. Looking forward to that last play. Sam Shield. You've got to be always alert. Play actions, quick throws over the middle. And he was all over LaFell. Two tight ends, right and Gronkowski. Gronkowski, top of the screen. Second and ten. And he gets it over to Gronk for a gain of four. And let's go down to Tracy Wolfson. Well, thanks, Jim. I've been watching Aaron Rodgers, and I was just told by officials it is just a scrape on the hand. There is no bandage as of now going on it, but he certainly looked to be in a little bit of pain down there. It is certainly something to watch, Jim. Yeah, he's the guy too, Jim. You think, well, why didn't he put a bandage on and throw a glove over it? Well, I think he's such a field player, which he talks about with the football. When he put a glove on, I think that would really disrupt how he throws the football and how he feels about it. It's third and five. In the pocket, Edelman unable to get away from Williams, and it'll be fourth and one. What a tackle by Williams. Jamon Williams all over Gronkowski outside and they do this it's great they stack the receivers to back you off he reads it comes up and makes the tackle and New England has sent out the punting unit Jamon Williams really an excellent corner you got to be careful he can read the quarterback and he is not afraid to make big plays or go for interceptions Think of this time. a little bit low but a whistle first There is no foul on the play. There is no play. The officials were not in position when the ball was snapped. Ed Hockley with the explanation. Now, Ninkovich has been a long snapper in high school, in college, at Purdue, even a little bit in the NFL. It's kind of how he came into the league with the Saints. A little bit down at Miami and has occasionally done it the preseason for the Patriots. That one perfectly sent back to Ryan Allen. The punt bounding out of bounds. At about the 15, 36-yard punt. And Brady's reaction after failing to pick up a first down on that series? I said, get it out. You know, every once in a while during commercials, I put out a big yell up here, you know. Get rid of the frustration. You have a lot to be frustrated <laughs> about, don't you? I was waiting. <laughs> but, you know, really an interesting start, though. You know, Green Bay's defense looks like they're ready for some of their core plays that the Patriots have. They've been aggressive. And now on the offensive side, can they find a way to get their two best pass receivers involved in this game? We've talked about it, but, you know, it's you can only look at your tight end and the rookie wide receiver Adams so much. You saw Lacey on the bench. Starks in the backfield. And here's Starks' first handle. Tries to wiggle outside, and it's Collins who wraps him up and holds him to two. Now, the Packers have been a first-half juggernaut at home. The last four, we were here for this one, Minnesota, 28-0 at halftime, 28-3, to 42-0 to at halftime against Chicago, and 30-6 against Philadelphia. And they've been over 50 points in the last two home games total. Here's a second and eight. Goes to Starks, and he does a good job of fighting for extra yardage. The ball squirted out after he was down. It'll be third and about two. Well, I remember coming up here and doing a preseason game, and Aaron Rodgers talking about how he was going to play this year. He was going to be quicker in his decisions. If he doesn't like it, he's not going to take hits. He's either going to move or throw it quickly to the running backs. And he's done that all year long. And as you look at that hand, this looks like something you'd see at Lambeau Field, right? The, all the great games that have been up here in tough conditions. Third and two. Makes this one over the top. And he's got Adams in stride. Ryan grabs hold of him. But it's another big game by Green Bay. And
and for the third straight drive, they have advanced to the New England side of the field. Well, they've tried it three times, and I like what they did here. Oh, another double move. That's the third double move Devontae Adams has run outside against Logan Ryan. And, you know, now I can talk about it. I saw him working on this yesterday in practice, but that was really good. He was off the line of scrimmage, had time to make the move, and not get hit. It went for 45. Adams now has 90 yards in this first quarter. Down the field, Rodgers! And it is caught for a touchdown by Richard Rodgers, the rookie tight end out of Cal. I think the first thing that I marvel about the play, the pump fake, he was going to throw it and held up. So you got to have one large pair of hands to hold on to that football as aggressively as he was getting ready to throw the football. And how about again, just flicks it out there right on target. Watch this pump fake. Whoa. Then just right over the top, perfect touch. So there's your answer. Rodgers, Adams. They're making them go to those matchups, and they got it done on that drive. That is called Rodgers to Rodgers. There you go. Roger that. And that's two straight weeks. And Richard Rodgers has caught a touchdown. He had one up in Minnesota last week, his first career touchdown. But this one's of the long variety. 32 yards out. Four plays, they drive down the field. Tonight on CBS, Simon Baker is back for the final season of The Minimalist. Tonight after Madam Secretary, only CBS. Just seconds to go here in the first quarter. The Packers have already put up 209 yards. And that is even without any yardage I added to the cause by Cobb or Nelson. Yeah, well, you know, they told us they loved their matchups. And I think they knew, or they told us, too, they were expecting exactly what they're getting on the defensive side. Come on, How about that? And there, takes it up the 10. And is tackled at about the 28 by Morgan Burnett. Let's go back down to Tracy. Well, thanks, Jim. We talked about the cold temperatures today. Both of these quarterbacks very good in this weather, but both prepared differently. I spoke with Tom Brady. He said it's all about keeping that right hand warm. As for Aaron Rodgers, he told me he likes the cold weather. He likes the grip on a very hard, inflated football. He says he keeps his hands warm with four or five warmers, but it's all about his feet. Two pairs of socks and a warmer inside. That's what I'm doing. I'll let you know how it works. That's right. Tracy's uh, experimenting to tell us how how the quarterback feels. She put all those hand warmers in her feet today. Good day to do that. It is. First and ten on the last play of the quarter, and it's blunt for three. 32 total yards by the Patriots in that first quarter. This is the kind of start New England feared. 13-0 Green Bay after one. We'll return after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS. You can lump that first quarter performance in with the other four we talked about. Looking at first half performances overall for Green Bay. Now through its last five home games, 79 to nothing. In the first quarter, the not first. even a half. Yep. So that just shows you they get off the fast starts. They put you under pressure, and it just takes pressure off your defense where they can really fly around. Second and seven. Matthews is trying to come around the edge. And Brady hits Gronkowski. For New England's biggest play as he fights ahead to the Green Bay side of the field near the 42. Well, some of those heat packs, good play action fake. And Gronkowski comes all the way across the field. Perfect throw. Really, as we said, this offense. Good job. Watch Tom Brady step up just before it gets there. But Gronkowski, such a tough matchup. There's really nobody you can put on him one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, we feel good about it because he's athletic and he's extremely big. First snap in Packer territory after a 29-yard gain. Brady steps up away from the heat and has an open man. It's Harold Manawanui. And how about the feet? Did he get him down? Looked like he did from way up here. Yes, he gets him in. 24-yard gain. Nice job again. Tom Brady, excellent in the pocket. We talked about it last night. He feels like he's 
faster and quicker than he's ever been in his career. And I tell you, it's not an overstatement. He moves around, actually breaks out of the pocket, and has made some excellent throws on the run here of late. Brandon Bolden is the running back. We have not seen Jonas Gray to this point. It's Bolden on the carry. And Bolden. Good power run by Bolden. His longest run of the season, running behind Ryan Wendell for about 11. Watch the right guard pull around, and you can hear it. Just two heads butting, and Barrington is frozen, and Bolden makes a good run. First and goal to go. Oh, Shields. I couldn't yeah, see Shields behind Shields is it. down. I, hidden by a couple of his fellow defenders. Sam Shields. Yeah, I saw him in the play before. He goes in there. Well, he does a good job of getting his head in front of the runner. But that knee hit his helmet. Brady and Gronk having a little exchange. They'd like to have uh, another little connection here in a moment. No, it's so tough in this red zone. Yeah, size is a big reason inside the 10-yard line where you can score. And Gronkowski, you can tell, 100% healthy over the injuries and has been dynamic the last six or seven weeks. House comes in for Shields in the secondary for Green Bay. First and goal and Bolden. Bolden. It's free and into the end zone. Brandon Bolden, touchdown New England. Well, you said it right. You never know who they're going to put in the backfield. And we're looking, thinking it's going to be Jonas Gray, uh, Gray, Blunt. Bolden comes. This is excellent running. And the blocking that time, Wendell again. The right guard springs him free for the touchdown. Brandon Bolden, first touchdown of the season. A couple of strong carries by Bolden. One to 12, and then the last one from six yards out. They go 73 yards in two minutes. Being shut out in the first quarter. That was the first time in 24 quarters the Patriots had not scored in a quarter, but here they come back. Five letters here for everybody out there in Packerland. R E L A X. Relax. <laughs> that is classic double uh, check right there after the Kansas City game. And yes. He was asked a question about you know, the quarterback position. And do with Brady. And it's just classic. How about a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T? That's Harris. It was the end of the world, though, for these teams early in the year if you start to listen to some of the pundits out there. Well, listen, that's what we're in. It's it's every week. We're a prisoner of the moment. Yep. And since those two things happen, look what they've both done. It's just outstanding. The yards for getting the points, the turnover margin. But we jump to too many conclusions very fast. We all do it. I'm guilty of it. And, you know, it's a long season. We were coming up with all these scenarios in week three and week four. There's a handoff to Lacey. Go for this drive. And Collins is there to meet him after a three-yard run. Well, we'll see. You talk about Devontae Adams on the outside going against Logan Ryan. The right side, nobody's open. So what do they do? They go to the rookie, top of the screen, a little double move, and could have been called pass interference. So they stack the receivers. They get him away from the contact, and that was just enough to let him get by, and Aaron Rodgers put it on the money. And again, Adams with three catches for 90 yards. That's what you do if you the contact the line of scrimmage, change the formations, stack the receivers, or put them in motion. Second and seven. 
And Lacey drives ahead for another three. Let's go back down to Tracy. Well, thanks, Jim. We saw Packers cornerback Sam Shields take a hit earlier. He was taken to the locker room. He is being evaluated for a concussion. Jim? Sam Shields, his head. He went in there and led with the head when he tried to go low and tackle Brandon Bolden. So he'll go through the protocol. And House was the one who replaced him on that next play. I think we got to find out. Can they, here's a little bunch group the top of the screen trying to maybe free Jordy Nelson or Randall Cobb. And Cobb is in the backfield next to Rodgers on third and five. Cobb with a think of its matchup and he's open and Cobb has his first catch of the game. So they started them out in the backfield. Yeah, always be on high alert with receivers in the backfield. He's going to go like this all the way down and there's just nobody to run with him. You got Nikovic because they're worried the inside guy gets picked because we have three wide receivers to the right and it picks Logan Ryan. Nikovic picks him up, but it's just too late. Good thought process. We saw it early. They put him in the backfield, saw what they wanted, and they dialed that play up and made it work. For 33 yards, again, two receivers in the backfield. Boykin along with Cobb, and it's over to Boykin. It might be ruled as a rush. Picks up about six. Tonight, are you worried about your credit card information? That it might be stolen this holiday season? You ought to be. And 60 minutes shows you why. Tonight, only CBS. That was ruled a pass. And a gain of six. Yeah, some unique looks. Mike McCarthy. Spent this week. They're giving the, There's Cobb in the backfield again. Plus, Lacey appeared to be dinged a couple of plays ago, has not returned. Second and four. That's caught. Right there is a tip. Finally, Hightower comes over to help out and bring him down. Shy of the first. Well, New England has big linebackers. We, we've talked about this many times. Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower, and you try to run. And I know it's only a five or six yard game, but that's big. It keeps you in really good position to make these calls where run or pass is available to the offense. Now Lacey's back in for a third and two play. Are you rubbing? There's the personnel on the right side of the screen. It's in there for Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers still has it. With his third catch of the drive, picking up the first down. I love what they do. You know, they have Randall Cobb to here, and they got running backs and a tight end in the backfield. So you're trying to figure out who am I going to run with, then the fake is just enough to give Randall Cobb that split second to get outside and pick up a big first down. Back into the red zone are the Packers. Green Bay can show you some very different formations in the backfield along with Aaron Rodgers. First two trips inside the 20 resulted in field goals. First down, Lacey. Nice piece of tackling there by Akeem Errors and a loss of a couple. Patriots have been famous for a lot of things on the defensive side, but being very good in the red zone is one of their marks. That's Bill Belichick. Yeah, you can move the ball, but can you score? They've made the Packer kick two field goals and see what happens here in this drive. Right now, Aaron Rodgers is loose. Mike McCarthy feels free. Everything is working. Rodgers has hit his last seven passes. Bottom of the screen now, you've got Browner on Adams. He's going to the other side to the end zone. And no flag as Nelson got tangled up with Revis. Well, what happened? Darrell Revis went to the top of the screen because of the formation. It did look like a lot of contact. Oh, well, Rebus is looking back for the football. So that's a good no call, in my opinion. In fact, Jordy Nelson, good job by him being aggressive, trying to get over the top. But Bill Belichick said it that Darrell Rebus has unique quality to always get in the way of the receiver and kind of run the route for him. And that was a good example that time. That's the first time Nelson's been targeted today. Third and 12 from the 20. Field, Cobb, and he is 
is about a half yard shy of the first. Another little unique way of doing it. They put him in motion. And all the time, defenders think when you go in motion, you're going to break out. He stopped and came back inside. And I think it was Kyle Arrington who couldn't get there quick enough. So it looks to be about a half yard shy of the first fourth and a foot. And they brought Lacey back onto the field. Rogers is trying to hurry to the line. And they're going to have a measurement now, as it turns out. Pretty good spot. I thought it was maybe even a little short of where that football is. So it'll be interesting. 13 to 7. Well, you're not going to have to make that decision, I don't think. That is a first down. I would think if they were short, uh, I think they would have gone for it. Do you think it was a generous spot? I did. I did. It, they marked it all the way to the eight-yard line. I thought he was about a half a yard. Let's see where you think he goes down. Well, it's so close. It's I don't know if it's, I would not challenge because when it's that close, usually they're not going to reward you with one foot unless it's clear by the markings on the field. Rodgers already over 200 yards passing. A quarter and a half into this game. Cobb has picked up three first downs on third down receptions. Cobb adds two more to the cause. I mean, uh, Lacey does. Now, it's interesting. Look at all those numbers by Green Bay and Jim. Jordy Nelson not involved, and he's been the mainstay, the driving force, along with Aaron Rodgers in this pass offense. So that just shows you they got depth. And they're, not, they're not just having one single thought that we got to throw it to Jordy Nelson. All right, spread everybody out on second and goal. Incomplete, knocked down by Revis. You know, by putting Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb in the slots, there's Jordy Nelson going to fake outside. Boy, Darrell Revis didn't even think of going for it. The fake, it kind of makes Brandon Browner, you know, I don't know if you want Brandon Browner trying to cover one of these guys from the slot formation so they can get some matchups they like. Rodgers, you see in the background, already having caught a touchdown. He's wide to the right, third and goal. Nelson in the slot to the right, Cobb slot left. 319! 319! Here comes pressure. Rogers is caught. High tower. And a loss of nine. Well, I'll tell you, high tower in the run game, playing inside number 54 on the blitz. And he has been excellent at that. He caught him off guard. Now let's watch to the right. Nobody's open. Jordy Nelson covered. Tight ends covered. Maytown was turned into a really good blitzer. And now Crosby from 33. His third field goal of the game. 16 to 7. Packers inside six minutes to go first half. Coming up, the Verizon Halftime Report with J.B., Tony, Bart, Boomer, and Coach Power. All the latest scores and highlights and a preview of the Thursday night game on NFL Network, Dallas and Chicago. That's coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. First half dominated by Green Bay, but you got to look up, up there if you're New England and go 16-7. to 7. That's okay. Line drive kick, and the goal takes a knee. Tom Brady drove him down the field for a touchdown the last time he was out there. NFL Play 60 encourages kids to come out and play for 60 minutes a day. To learn how and to find great play ideas, visit NFLRush.com slash Play 60. New England would like to drive 80. Down 16 to 7. Again, coming around from the far side, ball was actually touched by Matthews as it was released. 
Well, they kept and they had Marcus Cannon, uh, an offensive lineman, in there to help with protection, and he just can't get wide enough. And Clay Matthews, how's that for turning the corner tightly and still getting a hand on the football? You know, a lot of teams do that now. They bring in an extra lineman to make him a tight end so the quarterback can have extra time to throw it down the field. Clay Matthews time that time took advantage of it. There he is eyeing Grady and checking the formation. Second and ten. And that's right. Tim Wright with the catch for the first down. Good job by Tom Brady standing in there. Here comes the blitz. Watch this move. Whoops. And they miss completely Tom Brady. Does a really good job falling backwards and making the throw. A gain of 12 to Tim Wright, who is starting to get more comfortable by the week in this New England offense. Well, he's tall, can run fast, played wide receiver some in college. First down from the 32. Brady looking down the field, and he's hit again as the pass is incomplete. Morgan Burnett had pressure on Brady. As you look at the ownership of the New England Patriots, Robert Kraft, Jonathan Kraft, and they're excited about their soccer team, the Revolution, advancing to the MLS Cup Final next week. And they'll play either Los Angeles or Seattle. They're going to double dip next week when they go for the title in the afternoon. And uh, wherever that game will be, L.A. or Seattle, his revolution, then they'll be down at San Diego for the night game next Sunday. They're going to go to both. Second and ten. And a wide receiver screen and good yardage out to the 49. Sebastian Vollmer helps yep. bring him for 16. You said it, and you take you need athletic tackles to run these plays. Watch him get outside and just duck for cover because there's nothing you can do and gets his hands on Jamal Williams and knocks him down. But the quick screen game by the Patriots, as good as anybody in the NFL when it comes to those those types of plays. over to Edelman. He's able to pick it up before it hits the ground. Nice catch. Gain of five. We were talking about that end of the world mentality. I'm starting to hear it from everybody about the Cowboys now after Thanksgiving Day. They've long forgotten what they did four days before that at New York against the Giants. Well, you know, they did play a pretty good team uh, Thanksgiving night. Yeah. Philadelphia Eagles. And look, going to Soldier Field, cold, grass, different atmosphere. I think it's going to be a tight hard-fought game second and five and Brady's got an open man it's Kareem left open Matthews grabs him by the jersey helps sling him down but it's a gain of 27 I don't know how he found him he's looking down the middle of the field but all I can say is Tom Brady does this a lot down the sideline goes Vereen and that's what happened Clay Matthews is going to cover him and is following the eyes of the quarterback and Tom Brady, I saw it last week about three or four times against Detroit. They made a mistake. He went to the guy that made a mistake every time. Blunt is the running back. And Blunt's got a five-yard, maybe six-yard game. We still have not seen Jonas Gray. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, you know, 201 you know, yards and yeah. four touchdowns just a couple of weeks ago. Talk about long forgotten. Well, listen, you make the mistake with this team, and, and you know, that's just the way they run it. It's very disciplined, and you move to the back of the line, you work hard, and hope you get one more chance. Double tight information for the Patriots. 14 touchdowns, their last 16 trips inside the red zone. Back over to Edelman. Play that just worked for him. This time, Williams is there to hold on by the ankle. We've got a flag down. Play picked up about three. Really good drive by the Patriots. Keeps Aaron Rodgers on the sideline. Gives their defense a rest. Everything you want. And taking the time off the clock. There was no foul for offensive pass interference on the play. The block was within a yard of the line. 
Third down. There you go. You throw those screens, you can block the defenders as long as they're within one yard of the line of scrimmage. Saw San Diego win a game today doing that against Baltimore. Yeah, from a yard out. Eddie Royal had help. There's the, there's the block by LaSalle. Pick up the flag. It's a third and three. Brady's got his first down with Gronkowski, who's still going! Gronkowski stopped at the two. Wow. How about that, though? Not many tight ends can split out, make that catch, and do what he just did. Look at Gronkowski. First and goal to go. And last play before the two-minute warning from Gronkowski. Exerting his will and power against that Patriot defense, setting up New England first and goal at the two. 30 yards for an 11-yard game. Flags are out. Marcus Cannon. Ball start, offense number 61. That changes things. Five yard changes penalty. everything. You know, that first last down. play just real quickly, it was perfect for Gronkowski. He ran in. To the receiver or the defender Morgan Burnett and picked up extra yards. It got open and there was the ball start by Marcus Cannon. Nine plays to get down here. Eight of them passes and look at any means to try to bring him down. <laughs> Whoops. Better tighten that belt. Yeah. This football thing doesn't work out. He could make one heck of a plumber based on what I'm seeing here. Just got nothing to say to that. First and go back up at the seven. And a timeout on the field. All by New England. Again, the Verizon halftime report is just a few minutes away as they Get set to bring you all the scores and highlights and the review of the one o'clock set of games. Verizon halftime report. New England, the top scoring team in the last two minutes of the first half. Looking to score here again. First and goal at the seven. Brady goes to the end zone and it's incomplete. And again, at the last second, there were Packer defenders closing in on him. Great job of feeling the pressure. I thought Clay Matthews once again top of the screen coming all the way around no he doesn't get there I thought he got really close that's Mike Daniels put the pressure on well the one thing when you watch Tom Brady not a lot of zone coverage against him so far because he'll just carve that up but he can go from one side of the field to the other look at his receivers as fast as any QB in the league second goal for Reen gets the handoff Shane Marine. He swapped at the four by Barrington. It'll bring up third and goal from the four. Well, this will be a huge letdown for New England. They don't score because of that false start. But when they're down in here, they have so many plays at their disposal. They have formations and movement. And, of course, they got number 87 who can clear room for himself, and that's Gronkowski. They split out Vereen. Now he shifts. Back alongside Brady. And there is a flag out. Neutral zone infraction defense. Half the distance to the goal. It's third down. And it'll be third and goal from the two now. That was close. Yeah, Mike Daniels jumps in, and you know, you got to be careful. Sometimes. When they make those kind of moves forward, if they don't go into the neutral zone and you react, it'll be against the offense. Two tight ends, right and Gronkowski. Wright's been dangerous down in goal line situations. Big guys on the left. You can push off and get a little space. 
Third and goal, and Brady fires it to the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. Touchdown, New England, Brandon LaBelle. Never looked to his left, went right the whole time, and LaFell won the matchup against Williams. And Tom Brady, nice fake inside, creates space. That was an excellent route by Brandon LaFell. Took it up the field, broke out. And threw a rocket out there to make sure he caught it. Brandon LaFell, who's loving his time now in New England, signed as a free agent in the offseason by way of Carolina. Took him a a little while to go through camp in the first couple of weeks of the season he felt to earn Tom Brady's trust but ever since about week four they have been in sync and they were on this occasion 16 14 Packers we are back at Lambeau Field a couple of guys who grew up in Northern California grew up about 190 miles apart both uh, raised as big 49er fans, putting up uh, the kind of performance you would have expected first Cal time they meet. Yeah, California guys playing in the, you know, in the part of the country where there's a lot of cold weather, but they have all the attributes to make them survive. Big hands, long arms, help control the football very well in these kind of conditions. It's Harris going to bring it out from too deep, and he's out to about the 20. We'll see what Green Bay can do here. Two timeouts and a minute and five seconds. How about Revis in the first half, Phil? Well, it's everything that we expect from him. You, he just very seldom loses one-on-ones. How about this against Randall Cobb? Runs the route for him. Nowhere to throw. Then down the field against Jordy Nelson once again all over. And watch how quick he diagnosed that route. And again, Aaron Rodgers smart throwing the football where Darrell Revis cannot pick it off. He's got a Packer injured. On the kick return, Jamari Lattimore is getting some attention. Backup linebacker for Green Bay. We'll step aside. I'm actually going to help uh, Lattimore take him directly to the locker room with assistance. Okay, what are you looking for out of uh, Green Bay here in the last minute and five seconds of the first half? Well, you know, when I look at Green Bay, of course, the big thing is, is Aaron Rodgers, the defense, you can't let him move around. When he moves around, the receivers are good enough to break away and give big plays. I thought they might use a spy every once in a while against Aaron Rodgers. If he moves, the spy can attack him. Rodgers. In the pocket. Wings it. Incomplete. What coverage down the field, and they haven't stopped them from scoring, Jim, but they have held up. The big key is those three field goals. You know, the Packers in the red zone have run nine plays today and have lost a total of four yards, having to settle all three trips into the red zone for field goals. They've caught him with some unique plays. Aaron Rodgers moving and making, of course, some great throws, but they haven't shown that they can beat this one-on-one -on -one coverage consistently their touchdown came from 32 yards out to Richard Rogers is now rolling out Aaron Rodgers now starts for the first down out at the 48 yard line and they hurry to the line this is this is the factor when New England goes in at halftime they got to figure out what to do about the quarterback moving so much how about that throw on the run on line and on target another game of 28 and to the sideline to Nelson, who has his first catch of the game in a game of nine. That was against Patrick Chung. You play off, he's going to take advantage of it. Let's watch what happens. He's running, and that's a good day. I think that was part of the route. And he got what he wanted. Nikovic, one on one with the running back, and just like we said, excellent throw on the run. It's a second and two now with 30 seconds to go. Still holding on to the two timeouts. Steps back, away from the heat. On the run again, and concludes. As Rivas jumped in front of Nelson. Gosh, what a play. I mean, Jim, we've done some games where we've had teams that just played 
New England, and we watch Darrell Revis, and it's you see this so much. A little push off. Oh, change direction. And to make those moves, Bill Belichick talked about Darrell Revis last night and said, for a big guy, which he is, pretty thick for a corner, can change direction so fast. Five throws have been targeted in the direction of Revis. No completions. And he has to take a timeout as the play clock was about to expire. Worried about the blitz. Good timeout. Third and two coming up out of the timeout. Okay, 23 seconds to go. Packers again, one timeout remaining. Crosby's career long is 58. Leading two for the first. Rodgers has Nelson in stride. And Jordy Nelson takes off to the 10, to the 5, reaches out for the pylon. And it's a touchdown, Green Bay. Boy, did they use the timeout well. And they changed formations. And they got single coverage all over the field. That time, Jordy Nelson. Good straight move across the field. Revis gets blocked. And boy, you, Jim, we've seen it so many times. Did he get in? All oh, the football hit the pylon. That's going to be a touchdown. Man, when he decides to take off, well, that was close. He almost lost control of that football, but he has it. But he dragged we'll his foot the out of bounds the field, before the football it was a touchdown. the pylon. <laughs> McCourty was trying to prevent him from getting to that very spot. Well, there's the knee down. Couldn't tell before that. his left foot still in bounds I think it's gonna stand yeah I do too the speed Speaking of Jordy Nelson, Nelson when he gets in the open field he can open it up Is and if it, it stands that's 45 yards on a third and two you know, at the last, I thought if they kept the back in the backfield, that was going to be a blitz by New England. They motion starts out of the backfield, and they changed what they were doing. They backed out of the blitz, and it was man-to-man -man coverage, and it made it easy for Aaron Rodgers to decide where to go. It touches before I think the knee hits. The foot stayed in bounds. Jordy Nelson had been contained for. The first 29 minutes of this game. The ruling on the field stands as called. It's a touchdown. <laughs> 81 yards, the Packers drive in 55 seconds. Incredible. The movement of the quarterback just makes so many plays on his own, and sooner or later, Guys like Jordy Nelson, they're, they're going to break free and make a play, and he did there. It gives Nelson 10 touchdowns on the season, which is the same number as his running mate, Randall Cobb, and it's the first time in Green Bay's storied history it's had a set of receivers with 10 touchdowns or more in the Top same the season. Screen. How did he get away from Revis that time? Well, good job. It looked like Revis had outside technique. So it allows him to get free inside and go, and I don't know if he was expecting help from anybody inside, but it was not there. Revis hadn't given up anything all game long, and then just seconds before halftime, Nelson and the Packers beat him for a big one. Yeah, yeah, I think what found I was interested there. He got let him get inside so easily. Usually he squares up on the wide receivers, 
it has a little. Let's just look at the whole top of the screen. Well, he is squared up. He opened up, and this is Jordy Nelson with all that space. He just outran everybody across the field. So many times when you talk about receivers, when they're tightly covered, it's who wins at the line of scrimmage, and that time Jordy Nelson won. And now the Packers will kick. 14 seconds to go. They'll put it on the ground. LaFell goes back. Can't get a handle on it. Amendola does. And he's tackled at about the 25 with nine seconds to go. Well, the quarterbacks, of course, that was a big buildup before the game, wasn't it? You know, all about these two quarterbacks because we know they're going to the Hall of Fame. They're the best in football, and they didn't disappoint. They've been sharp. Maybe the word outstanding is the right word for both. Rodgers with 282 yards in the first half and a pair of touchdowns. Well, maybe great's the word for that first yeah. half. In fact, the Packers had five drives in the half. They score on all five. Two touchdowns, 32 yards to Richard Rodgers, 45 yards to Jordy Nelson. And three Crosby field goals, 23 to 14. At halftime, we go down to Tracy with Coach McCarthy. Thanks, Jim. Coach, 347 total yards in that first half. You expected this coverage. How have you been able to mix it up, though, to have success there? Well, we're just running our offense. Aaron, Aaron's doing a great job keeping us in clean plays. You know, we're just trying to spread the ball around and go through the reads. How about defensively? What have you liked from your team in the first half? Well, you know, the stops early were good. We got to tackle better, and obviously Gronkowski's been a problem for us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Jim? All right. Thank you, Tracy. New England will receive the second half kickoff through two quarters Green Bay leads at 23 to 14 we're back with the Verizon halftime report after this message and a word from your local station you're watching the NFL on CBS 